Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and it's Tuesday. Time to look at some online video news from last week and talk about what it means for those of us who are video creators, except for this week after doing this for like a year and a half. There's usually a lot of stuff to report about, but this is an unusually slow week. However, there are two very important things I want to tell you about. One has to do with live streaming on YouTube. The second is a fix for getting external annotations to work with your Google Plus page connected YouTube account. Let's talk about both of those. First of all, I really love Google Plus on air hangouts. In fact, we've got an awesome one coming up for you guys tonight with Maker Studios and New Media Rockstars. And perhaps the thing I love most about them is the interactive nature that we can do Q&A, we can answer your questions, you can give us feedback, we can have like this little dialogue about online video. But what happens if you jump into a live hangout after it's already started but you want to go back and catch up a little bit? Or maybe you're participating live but you kind of miss something that someone said and you're not really sure what they're talking about anymore, you just kind of want to back up a little bit. Well, that DVR-like functionality is rolling out since some people have it, others don't yet. I am one of the people who don't quite have all of it, but I do have one little bit and I assume most of you would have this by now also, and that is if you put a live Google Plus Plus Hangout on air on pause, you will see that the red light next to the live word down the YouTube player turns off. Obviously, that means you are no longer live. And if you click play, it'll continue playing exactly from where you press pause, meaning you are then forever behind if you just watch it in real time. But if you'd like to skip to jump up to real time again, you just click on that live word and that gray dot will turn red again and boom, you are live enjoying it in real time with everyone else once again. Pretty soon you'll be able to actually scrub backwards and forwards and just like you would a normal DVR, but this is a great step in the right direction. I want to give a hat tip to Ronnie Bincer for bringing that to my attention. If you guys want to learn more about that, link is in the description deck below this video. Go check it out. And the second thing we want to talk about is if you have connected your YouTube account to a Google Plus page, you've probably been enjoying a lot of the features that come along with that, like multiple managers and lots of other stuff. But one of the downsides is that it seems to have broken the ability to have annotations that link externally to your website. That certainly was the case for me, and no matter what fix I tried, none of it seemed to work, except for I finally figured it out today, and I want to share that fix with you for any of you guys who are in the same problem. The first thing you need to do is go to your channel settings. So here, I'm just going to go to my channel, and then go down right here to settings. And then over here, you're going to click on advanced, go to your advanced channel settings, and then right here is your associated website. It'll probably sit, be green and say success even though it's not working. Just click remove and you'll have nothing there. So that will reset your associated website for your channel. Next, you're going to come over here to Google Plus and you actually have to be logged in as the person who is the page owner, not just a manager, but the owner. Click the down arrow, go to your, your page, in this case is video creators, and then again, go up here and go to page settings. You can scroll down a little bit till you get the third party tools and you'll see an address that says often your page name dash and number at pages.plusgoogle.com. That is not an actual email address, it's just the address that Google uses to keep track of your Google Plus page and account and what's connected to it. So you're going to want to copy that whole thing. And then go to your webmaster tools and you should have a list of your websites here. Click next to the one you want to uh, connect to your YouTube channel. In this case, it's videocreators.com for me. Click on manage sites and you're going to go down to add or remove users. Now the trick here is not to add a new user. You have to go to site owners. Click site owners and go down here to add as owner. This is where you're going to paste in the email address of your Google Plus page that you just copied. You're going to click continue and it'll automatically add that account as an owner of the domain. So essentially what you've told Google is that I want this page to be an owner of this domain and since the, the page because becomes an owner, an owner of the domain, now when you link that page to your YouTube account, now YouTube also has permission to use annotations to that domain. Does that make sense? So once you've added that really long address as an owner to that domain in your webmaster tools, then you can go back to your YouTube channel, go back to your associated website and type it in, videocreators.com, click add and success.
Now when you go and add an annotation that links to your external website, in my case, videocreators.com, it will work. So you're welcome. Hopefully that helps some of you guys who are being really frustrated with that bug like I was. And for the rest of you, hopefully that's helpful if you ever do run into that problem. And thanks for hanging out with us. If this is your first time here at Video Creators, welcome. We'd love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday we take a look at online video news and talk about what it means for those of us who are video creators. On Wednesdays, we give you guys some YouTube tips and ideas and suggestions just to help you guys out and then on Thursdays we do Q&A answering your questions about the stuff that you're experiencing running into problems you're having questions you have about online video YouTube whatever just to help you guys who have a message that you're trying to spread really help it effectively reach the people who need to hear what you have to say so I love helping you guys with that thank you for letting me be a part of that with what you guys are doing here and please subscribe and I will see you guys again tomorrow <laughs> bye